let's go into some effective things right here that you need to be able to do. I've touched on these a little bit in previous videos, but it's worth recapping with the emphasis on flirting now. Okay. So obviously number one is the eye contact. I just, I can't flirt with the girl if I'm constantly just like looking away. It conveys unconfidence. It conveys low status. And also you need to have the eye contact there in order to properly create that emotion in the girl. The emotion that we want is the emotion when there's a little bit of a smile on your face and you can talk in a slow, calm, this kind of a vibe where it's, I'm not laughing, there's nothing funny, but I can just look deep into the girl's eyes and I can smile while I'm talking. And I have this super relaxed eye contact. Like my eyes go, honestly, it might not look like it right now because there's like a bright light shining on me. And so my eyes are, as I'm trying to do it, like I feel this burning in my eyes. But normally if I'm engaging with a girl and I'm talking to the girl very, very close, I can look into her eyes and I'm very relaxed with my eye contact, okay? And you need to work on this. For me, I could never do this. I remember hanging out with my friends when I first learned about this. I'm gonna like, today I'm going to Sean's house. I'm gonna try to hold eye contact with Sean. I literally remember thinking this. <laughs> this is like, I was like seven years ago. I was like, I'm gonna try to hold more eye contact with Sean today. And it was uncomfortable, but I practiced it and I practiced it and I practiced it and I practiced it with girls. And over time, I got more and more comfortable with my eye contact. Okay, and it may take a little while, but you as a man need to be able to hold eye contact in an unwavering way. That's like prerequisite to flirting. Okay, prerequisite to flirting. Number two is the importance of that smile. Okay, I remember the first time I ever worked with a coach, I recorded some interactions and I brought them to my first mentor. I brought my recordings to my mentor for him to analyze my interactions when I knew nothing about this shit. He was like, dude, you never smile. Like, you don't fucking smile. He's like, they call it a serial killer face. He's like, you opened with the serial killer face. And guys, if you would have asked me, I thought I was in a great mood when I was, when I was having those interactions. Literally, I thought I was in a great mood. It's not until, like, I got that outside source that was like, bro, you're still not smiling. Like, you need to go in with a nice smile. And it's not just on the open. You need to be able to, while we're in communication, bring out that smile a little bit, okay? Prerequisites to this thing. The other thing is the speed that you're talking at. And this is a big one for a lot of you guys because a lot of you guys, you don't allow those pauses in your communication. You're killing the opportunities for there to be a little bit of tension. Tension is good in moderation. You don't want an extreme amount of tension right away. That's going to put a lot of pressure on the girl. It's going to make her feel awkward. Problem with most dudes is though they never have any tension. Zero tension means she doesn't get to experience that emotion. We want her to have that emotion. How is that tension built? It's when I'm talking and we're holding good eye contact and I'm smiling and there's a second pause in between where no words are said, okay? And then I talk again or she says something to me. So how's your day going? You know what? It's actually going really well. Oh, you know where I just was earlier? I, you know, have you ever been over to that one? Oh, there's this one coffee shop. It's, um, but do, do you drink coffee, by the way? And look, that's not like world-class master flirting right there. It's just talking in a slow, relaxed way that's going to allow there to be little gaps of pauses. And I need the girl to get comfortable with me doing that. The guys that just keep fucking rambling, there's never, ever tension building. Okay, there needs to be a little bit of that. You need to be like, I can't just talk and talk and talk. And, I can't just keep talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. You get what I'm saying? Like she's really trying to move away because like it doesn't feel right. There's no emotion there. Do you want to say anything about any of that? I think the pausing is a really good point. And if you are observant and you're flirting with a girl and a girl's flirting with you, you can also notice that she pauses. Like flirting, you have to slow down with your sentences, make it tense, like pause here and there makes a big difference makes a big difference yeah for sure for sure okay so a lot of you guys aren't slowing the fuck down with the way you talk i hope that opens your eyes a little bit to analyzing where you're at right now with your communication be aware of everybody's communication in your day-to-day -day interactions like anybody i talk to like within three seconds i know whether or not this dude gets women 
I just know. Why? Because I could see in his communication. Like, the dudes, like, every so often it'll happen. Like, I'll talk to a dude. I'm like, oh, fuck, yeah. Like, this dude gets, like, I could tell this dude's got game. I could literally just tell by the way he talks to me. And he's not hitting on me. He's not flirting with me. It's the communication that is so on point and so dialed in with the right emotion and the right energy, and the right vibe. It's that playful, fun vibe that's ultimately going to get you moving in the right direction. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And by the way, if you wanna work with me personally to implement any of the techniques in this video to become more socially confident, get more women in your life, build a bigger social circle, and really just dominate life in any aspect socially, I can help you with that. I'm the guy for that, okay? Been doing this for a long time. I've transformed myself going from a video game nerd loser to becoming one of the top guys in the industry with this stuff, okay? So if you're interested in working with me personally, click the link below, click the link in the description, fill out the application, and we will be contacting you to discuss further details. Until next time, Coach Kyle, signing out. Peace.